Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Scourge League 3.16. In this episode, we're going to be going over my Endless Delirium League Starter filter, uh, and then I also made, so instead of just going over the basic uh, build, I've made an actual build guide of what you're going to be going for. Uh, this includes all your links, all your gems, everything absolutely insane endgame, uh, you know, all the uniques, endgame items, crafted, uh, you know, our normal stuff, warlord, hunter, elder, uh, elder, you know, unset rings, you know, you got everything, uh, which uniques to go for, what ghastly jewels to go for, everything, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys all the scaling here, I just wanted to give you, like, a quick 2 million DPS with Monogruel's Grasp, uh, 79 reses, f pretty decent, uh, build, no flas on, and uh, I'm really excited to show you guys. So uh, I have our normal league starter and I have our normal filter. And in addition, I've done the extra end game build for us this season. So uh, for this event. So for this event, we're going to be a zombie build. Um, and then the main point is is trying to be Montegrel's Grasp Explosions for Delirium. Because let's say the Delirium monsters can get 400% life. Uh, explode it. Boom. Easy clap. And then it also can deal with the corpses on death effects. It destroys the monsters and deletes the corpses. Very powerful. Um, and then another thing is uh, I actually went Spirit Offering and we're Grave Intentions. I mean, Unholy Might. So we're Chaos, Fire, Physical. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing this in game. But yeah, to go through everything uh, in the description below will be this. It's my League Starter. So for this event, I recommend the first 12 points, the next 24, then the 36, then we have a 39 in the Ascendancy, then we have 47, 62, 70 in Ascendancy, then 78 points, and 89 points in Ascendancy. We should have all of our auras now. Um, you won't have Skitterbots anymore. Uh, you run like Determination, Vitality, Defiance Banner, and Purity of Elements. 93 points, and then uh, 98 points in Ascendancy, then 113 points. So then I took this build. Um, so this is, also has all of the scaling of all your gems all the way up to maps, right? Um, and now this new build is what you would transition into from this. So to show you, 78,000 per zombie, it was 600,000 uh total and then it was similar like tankiness kind of and then you look at the new one and we're we're talking about two million with five so it's um three times more damage and then also the tankiness of the zombies eighteen thousand up to thirty eight thousand so double the tankiness of the zombies uh <laughs> and then we also do the explosions the clear uh were aggressive zombies so ma of mischief minions are aggressive um, they're tankier with like the block and the uh, spell suppression from these covenant co uh, jewels oh man i'm so excited so now i want to go through the main build because everyone knows my leagues are now we've done it a few times and anyone who doesn't can go through the uh, description and follow the pob very nice there's some extra secret tips in here for you as well um and then i will also have a link to the filter now for this um Basically, you can see that we went over here and uh, we get this Fortress Covenant and this doesn't hit a Notable. If you do a Fortress Covenant, Notables are converted, but Grave Intentions isn't in range, so it doesn't get converted. Uh, then up in my Cluster Jewel, I did the F Quickening Covenant and it also doesn't have its passive because it's in a Cluster Jewel, it breaks it. So then a large cluster, I was very um, optimistic. Let's try to get re Renewal, Rotten Claws, Vicious Bite. So we can do Vicious Bite, Renewal, and skip Rotten Claws. I'm not going to do Impale because I don't want to rely on Dread Banner to get my Impale. And it, yeah, too short of range feels weird. And I want to play safe uh, with our aggressive zombies. Uh, very nice. And then did all this pathing. I noticed this pathing is really cool because you can come up here and... Uh, you actually save points when you don't need the extra minion damage when you can just choose your own tree. It's really good. Um, I found this 10% and 6% really efficient for only 4 points. And then you get a 2-point jewel socket. Uh, so then I did this. 
and uh, we still have all the mana reservation efficiency of skills but the difference is I still I had to get the determination one so we can add in the um, skitterbots so we have skitterbots in the build uh, so our auras end up being defiance banner purity of elements determination vitality and then skitterbots with unbound elements super sick I love that combination uh, you could try to run pride for big damage and even hatred in this build because we're not b brutality because we're doing the fire explosion um, and then, so this is the skill tree it's pretty simple and then for the jewels in the skill tree so I talked about the large cluster and the small cluster for these ghastly jewels I have two uh, which is life and taunt and then life and blind and then minion damage when you've, you when you've used a skill recently if you can get that as an extra add-on it would be huge um minion attack speed's kind of nice so then my other ones are life minion damage minion attack speed to show you and then uh i go through the gear now so i went for a plus two astral plate um i have a video on how to get the plus two but basically it's just a four socket resonator of a dense pristine uh faceted shuddering and then i think it's five tries to get a plus two two tries it's like so easy to get the plus one and then you can even use a three socket resonator for the plus one you can do a dense pristine um shuddering i believe or no metallic yeah dense pristine shot uh metallic and then uh, i did just a life chaos res uh glove with strength and then crafted minion damage as a prefix uh on the boot move speed life res citron uh ami this one's interesting so Normally we would do the plus two Ami, but in this build with a level 25 zombie, we have nine zombies, but it gets cut in half um, because of the Monogrill's grasp and gets rounded down, so we get four. So we need an extra zombie, so by doing Elder Hunter, we can get an extra zombie through the Ami, and that gets us an extra zombie with the half. So we have ten, but divided by two. Um, and I also noticed that... Um, where did it go? the uh we can't do the plus one physical skill gems like normal because the zombie doesn't have that you know it's only a intelligent skill gem and then minimum endurance with a multi mod and life if you could do that obviously just life or just endurance charge if you don't have the choice um and then wow i crafted the wrong thing on the on the chest plate this is supposed to be my bad my bad this one Nice. Percent life. Percent mana. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just a plus two and some random chaos res. You could also get the chaos res on the belt because the belt has literally just two mods, uh, which you could roll with pristine fossils or life in harvest. And then we have the rings, life, chaos res, and then just extra strength mana. And then I crafted endurance charge on both. Amulet has endurance charge. Uh, I anointed ravenous horde in this build because we're not using flesh offering. And uh, it's because I found Spirit Offering to be more damage because of the slam cooldown uh, without multi-strike. Well, awakened multi-strike. Spirit Offering is kind of nice instead of the attack speed. Uh, and then, yeah, we craft these Endurance Charges. And I went uh, Ravenous Horde for the Onslaught for the extra move speed while mapping. Because I figure we're going to be doing a lot of Delirium. I'm going to be doing a lot of farming with this Monogrules. I'm going to be farming a lot, so... Um, yep, we'll see how this goes. I mean, I'm, we don't have to do Ravenous Horde to start either. We could start with a cheaper Anoint because this does cost a gold and a silver. So anything you can put on your Ami is good. And then Sergeant Vice could have the Chaos Res instead of the, uh, uh instead of the Chestplate, obviously. And you get extra reses or whatever to make the other items easier. This is just what I put in for now. And then, uh, the jewels. Yep. And then we have a Quickening Covenant is attack speed and the spell suppression. And then we have the Fortress Covenant for the attack uh, minion damage and the um, spell block attack block. It's a pretty good build. I'm excited to play this. I'm looking forward to it. It's similar to the Endless Heist. But now being able to do this in mapping against Delirium sounds really fun. And uh, we'll really be able to get to see how powerful the explosions really are. And it's also running Pulverize so it has some extra range. And the pulverize doesn't actually look that bad on paper, uh, with no awakened gems, of course, and compare like to compare against. Uh, either way, hope you guys are enjoy uh, looking forward to this event as much as I am. I hope you guys like my 
League Starter, my filter that I put out again. It's similar to the one we used for the last event, and then also um, my end game build. You could also, obviously, I think you could just reuse the carry on golem that we just did in the last event if the golem jewels are affordable because I don't put focus on it. And then that's cool if that works out for you guys because that, that should be really strong. Obviously, we already proved it to be very powerful at beating the game, and so the delirium isn't actually that like it isn't harder we are doing delirium the whole time so really i, th I think uh, that build can also hold up but i wanted to come back to this and scale it up with the extra annoyance and potentially uh we don't even have an enchant in the build so yeah there's extra stuff we could do with the mapping um this is just what i think is very possible to put together either way i hope you guys enjoy today i hope to see you guys in today's stream i hope uh you guys can get drops for if you watch for two hours i believe during the first 24 hours of the event um so you just have to watch the stream for two hours you can earn drops uh starting at 3 p.m est and uh yeah thank you guys for watching thanks for hanging out uh like the video if you guys like this and uh enjoyed the build and this worked out for you for this event thank you guys for watching and now I'm going to take this opportunity to thank all of you. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you. 31st. It's going to be 2022 during this event while I stream. So Happy New Year's and uh, welcome to the New Year. God damn. Either way, thank you guys and uh, thanks to everyone who liked the video. Bye.